2017 Honda CBR 600RR. It lives. It's not dead in America, baby. <laughs> Sorry, Europe. Aloha, what's going on everyone? So uh, just going for a little ride tonight. And uh, the topic tonight is uh, the 2017 CBR 600 RR lives. So I uh, came across an article and I'm pretty sure it's legit. And I'll leave a link down in the description. Y'all can check it out. The CBR 600 RR is gonna come out in North America. For uh, you guys that live in Europe, uh, unfortunately it's, you know, it's discontinued. You may remember the article that came out this past summer, I think it was like in July, where they said the 600R is dead and Honda's no longer putting any R&D into it and it just wasn't cost effective. They weren't selling uh, as much as they should, these mid-grade, you know, mid-range 600 bikes. Uh, it's either like the 250RR they're developed. That's a hot seller, especially in like Southeast Asia, because they're kind of restricted on the size of their bikes. And of course, the leader bikes are always gonna sell. Uh, they've gotten popular the last couple years. I mean, that's all I ride. Honestly, I have never rode a uh, 600 class bike. I went straight from like a 250 to my big old Harley, which is a 1690 CC, a 103 engine for y'all that know uh, cruisers. And then I went to a 1000, my CBR 1000 RR, which is in the shop right now. That's another story. But, um, and then of course I'm on uh, everyone's favorite, the BMW S1000 RR. Woo! The only way to go in my opinion, but. <laughs> So, um, in Europe, you know, they killed it because the Euro 4 emissions, which go into effect January 1st, it's limiting a lot of manufacturers on their abilities and they're restricting them and it's not cost effective. They're, the 600 sales are hurting as it is. They weren't selling in Europe. Bikes like this are selling and Ducatis, etc. And uh, as you know, the other 600 uh, bikes, Yamaha, Suzuki, um, Kawasaki, They've upgraded their 600s. Um, you know, you got the new R6 coming out. It's got electronics package. Now granted, it's got the same engine and such as it's had, uh, but I'm sure in the next year or two, they'll come out with a new engine for it, depending on how this sells. Basically, it looks like a miniature R1 now. Um, but Honda didn't see the uh, profit for, uh, you know, cost benefit analysis. It was not worth making the 600 in Europe anymore especially with the Euro 4 emissions redesigning the engine, the muffler system, exhaust, etc. Uh, however, in America, apparently they sell. Um, they are going to continue to make it for 2017, at least one more year. It is going to come in the uh, new 1000 RR, if you have noticed, or Fireblade, the, uh, the black and red, or black and dark blue navy, however you want to say, color scheme. They are going to come out uh, with that color scheme for the new 600RR in America. Uh, it's going to have the same engine, the same frame, uh, no electronics on it, so it's still a slick ride, which will keep the cost down. But, you know, er all the bikes are going electronics package now. So if you want that raw mid-range 600 good on gas, less on insurance bike, I mean, uh, that 600RR may be for you. Uh, starting cost is going to run about $11,799. And it has the combined ABS and that'll run an extra thousand dollars. So if you want, that's about the only electronics besides the steering dampener, uh, which is the same as the 2016 steering dampener that you can get for it. So uh, if you're interested, you can check out the link I left. 2017 Honda CBR 600RR, it lives. It's not dead in America, baby. <laughs> Sorry, Europe. But uh, we'll see how it sells. If it sells fine next year, they may um, you know, redesign the engine and add some electronics for uh, 2018. So we'll see. And uh, expected uh, date of uh, delivery to manufacturers, dealers, or from the manufacturer to dealers is scheduled for March 2017. So be looking for that this spring for all you 600 riders. Or if you want like a, uh, a commute that saves on gas more around town and you don't want a track bike like this guy, look at that 600 RR um, it's pretty still cost effective if you like the raw bike like I said earlier no electronics really and you love that raw power that bike that CBR 600 is for you so with that I'm gonna end this vlog uh, check out my Instagram if y'all haven't it's fireblade pilot underscore along with my Facebook page if y'all haven't checked that out um, I'm almost at 8k and uh, subscribers or followers should I say on Instagram I think I'm close to 500 subs finally on YouTube. That's kind of my next, uh, you know, big check on the wall 
is I'm at like 480, 40 plus, something like that. So with that, I hope y'all take care and I'll talk to y'all later and aloha.